in this uh, screencast we're going to look at the engine efficiency of a jet engine and specifically we're going to look at the propulsive efficiency the thermal efficiency and then the overall efficiency well propulsive efficiency that is defined as the efficiency that compares how much work is done on the aircraft by supplying kinetic energy to the air and let's look at an engine so here we have a jet engine compressor, combustion can, turbine and exhaust taking in some air and accelerating it out the back so let's say the air is coming in at velocity VA and it's going out uh, with a velocity VJ I can say that the air at the inlet has a kinetic energy of m v a squared over 2 and at the outlet it has a kinetic energy of m v j squared over 2 therefore the change in kinetic energy is equal to the mass times v j squared minus v a squared over 2 so one minus the other now i also know that the engine will produce some thrust and thrust is a force is equal to mass by acceleration so in this case it's going to be the mass of air by the acceleration. Well, it going out at Vj and came in at Va, so the change of velocity, Vj minus Va, is equal to the acceleration. I also know that work is equal to force by distance, and in this case the force is thrust, and the distance uh, d. So the thrust is m, Vj minus Va, we had that here. So if the aircraft is flying at 100 meters per second, or VA, then after one second it will have travelled 100 meters. So the distance then is equal to VA. So the propulsive efficiency then is looking at the work done on the aircraft over to the change in kinetic energy. Okay, so there's the work done on the aircraft, this equation here, over the change in kinetic energy. So I'll get rid of the two, so bringing the two up there, I get this equation and now we can see that vj squared minus va squared well that's just equal to vj minus va all over vj plus va these two guys cancel out and I get that the propulsive efficiency is equal to 2va over vj plus va so from this we can see that you know if we lower this velocity so this guy here the closer we get to va the greater the efficiency Okay, thermal efficiency. The thermal efficiency of an engine is the efficiency of the conversion of the heat energy released by the fuel into kinetic energy in the jet stream. Okay, so we know the change in energy in the uh, is m v j squared minus v a over squared over two, and let's let q is equal to the the fuel energy. Then I will say that the thermal energy is the ratio of the change in kinetic energy to the fuel. Now if we look at the overall efficiency, well the overall efficiency compares well, what work was done on the aircraft for the amount of fuel energy we have burnt. So the work done on the aircraft was trussed by VA and the fuel energy is Q. Okay, but I've seen that the propulsive efficiency is 2VA over VA plus VJ and that the thermal efficiency was the change in kinetic energy over the Q. But if I multiply these two by each other, I will get this. And quite simply, I can get rid of the twos. Okay, so that's this equation. Just getting rid of this two multiplied by half is gone. And then Vj squared minus Va squared is just Vj plus Va multiplied by Vj minus Va. So here I've converted that into that. And we can say a diesel cancel. That guy, sorry, will cancel there. That gives me that. But I know that MVJ minus VA is thrust. So the thrust times the VA over Q. So the propulsive efficiency multiplied by the terminal efficiency is equal to that. And we've already seen that that's equal to the overall efficiency. So the overall efficiency is equal to the propulsive efficiency multiply by the thermal efficiency.